turning points. If a polynomial function of degree n is of degree n, then that function has at most n minus 1 turning points. What are turning points? Turning points are hills or valleys. That's what I mean by turning point. Or we could say max as a hill or min. That's a valley. So in other words, it's the degree of the polynomial minus 1. So if it's a degree 2, it'll have at most 2 minus 1 or 1 turning point. If it's of degree 5, it'll be 5 minus 1, at most 4, four turning points. So if I look at this function, There's a turning point. There's a turning point. There's a turning point. There's a turning point. There are hills or valleys. This guy has one, two, three, four turning points. What's the maximum degree? Not maximum degree. It's a possible what degree? Not four, five, because it turn number of turning points is a degree minus. It's odd because it's bottom top. So this guy is odd degree. Is the leading coefficient positive or negative? It's, a, uh, positive. it's positive. Why? Because it's a yeah. yeah. It's bottom, bottom. Top. So A has to be positive. I don't even know what the function is. I can tell you a lot about it. Now, if I look at the zeros, what is the multiplicity of this zero right here? What does it look like? It looks like an S. So it's multiplicity what? Multiplicity 3. It could be 3, 5, 7, 9, but definitely minimum is multiplicity 3. What about this guy? Oops, I'm sorry. What's his multiplicity? Two, multiplicity four. two, four, six. Definitely two. What about this one? That's what does that look like? A line. A line. So what multiplicity one. would it be? One. one. What about this one? Yeah, it looks like a line as it goes through multiplicity 1. Now, if I knew what those zeros were and their multiplicities, I could give you the original, po a possible original polynomial. But I don't have the zeros.